Hello everybody, Lurgs here. Welcome to my channel. I'm here to save you time and money. And today it's the Vespa GTS 300. How to replace the headlamp unit. Now mine had quite a big scratch and some damage on it. So I needed to replace the entire headlamp unit. I think I've picked one of the coldest days ever to do this job. So before we get started, let's have a lovely cup of tea. Right. Let's get cracking. This is the headlamp unit here and you can see it's got a great big scratch across it but also it has overheated and it's actually melted the plastic on the front so I definitely need to swap this out. First thing I'm going to do is just put a sheet down just in case I don't drop anything or any screws. We need to remove the horn fairing and to do that you need to first remove this Piaggio badge. Take a screwdriver but wrap it in a rag because you don't want to damage the horn fairing. Just put it in that groove there and just twist it slightly and it should just pop out. There we go, once it's popped out a little bit, just get your fingers on it. Fabulous. Put that somewhere safe. And inside here, we've just got a tamper-proof bit screw. So take one of your tamper-proof bits or a star socket. Put that in there, obviously turn it anti-clockwise until that is removed. And there's a link above now about the things that I hate about my Vespa GTS 300. But don't worry, because later on there's a link about the things that I love about it. What we need to do now is lift this fairing upwards and outwards. And this is easier to remove if you turn the handlebars completely to one side. And it might help if you turn it to the other side as well, just as you wiggle it. So you're lifting it upwards and towards you. It's just got four little clips, two on either side. Just be gentle, don't be too aggressive, you don't want to snap those clips. Make sure you put this somewhere safe, don't lay it on the floor because you're bound to tread on it. And there's a link above now about the things that I love about my Vespa GTS 300. And put the screw back in, just so you don't lose it. This is one of the trickiest parts of the job is removing this Phillips screw just beneath the headlamp unit. Only because below that is a big void and if you drop the screw, it will just disappear and probably rattle around forever and you will never be able to get it out. Now if you've got a magnetic screwdriver, use that because it is a magnetic screw, but you could still drop it down that void. So I'm just gonna use this clasp. I've got it out as far as I can. Now I'm just gonna get this on it and pull it out. Now this might be a bit easier again if you turn the handlebars completely to one side. And luckily I did actually manage to remove this without dropping it. And there's a bit of a tip when I put that back in later on. There's the void there. You do not want to drop it down there. Otherwise it's just going to rattle around forever. The next thing that we need to do is remove these on both sides. Now this is a very small Allen key. So just take a small Allen key. And again, you're turning this anti-clockwise. I'll just speed this footage up. And there's a link above now about how to change the battery on this Vespa GTS 300. Again, put that somewhere safe. Take this rubber catch and just slide it all the way up the wing mirror. And then take this fairing. Just be very gentle with this. It's got some clips at the back. Don't be too aggressive. You don't want to snap any of the clips. Obviously, over time, these get brittle. I'm just going to take a piece of tape and just tape it to the top of the wing mirror, which we're going to remove any second now. On this, you're basically turning it anti-clockwise. Just need a bit of elbow grease. And there we go. Let's just turn that anti-clockwise and just keep turning. Get a good grip on it at the end because you don't want to drop it. There we go. And you need to do it exactly the same on the other side. Now I won't show you that clip because obviously it's absolutely identical, but it's just the other side. So let's just assume that that one has been done and it has. We've now got two small screws, one on either side of the handlebars here. We've got one here and one on the other side. This is just a small Phillips screwdriver. Again, anti-clockwise. Once you've removed that, put it somewhere safe. And then remove the one on the other side as well. 
And there's a link above now about how to change the oil and the filter on this Vespa GTS 300. Make sure you do that at least once a year. Okay, those two screws are now removed. So the headlamp unit fairing is now ready to be removed. That's all the screws and nuts and bolts removed. Again, with all the other bits of fairings on this Vespa, just be very, very gentle. You don't need to be aggressive, don't need to pull anything really hard. If it doesn't feel like it's naturally going to pull, don't keep pulling. And you've got a few clips at the back here, just make sure that you free those up. And then you're pulling the headlamp unit upwards whilst you're pulling it towards you. So just be very, very gentle. There we go, it is off. Now it won't just pull straight off because you've got the headlamp unit plugged into the bulbs. I'm just gonna put a rag on the top of the horn fairing here, just cause I don't wanna scratch the front of the Vespa. And there is the headlamp unit there. And this is obviously how you replace the bulb. So it's a right pain if you wanna replace the parking bulb or the main headlight bulb. Now we need to remove these. So remove the parking bulb first. You just push that little clip in and then just slide it outwards. Then remove the main headlamp bulb plug. I'm just gonna wedge it up with my knee here. And this just literally just pulls off. Just wiggle it and there we go. So this headlamp unit is now free. Now if you're gonna be replacing it with a brand new one or a second hand one, what I did is I removed this one first and then I compared that with all the photos on Fleabay or on the internet just to make sure that when I ordered one that it was absolutely identical. Right, I'm just gonna remove this rubber cover here. This just protects the main headlamp bulb, just stops any dampness getting in there. Whilst I'm doing that, there's a link above now about the toolkit location on this Vespa GTS. We need to remove these four screws here. They only screw into the plastic headlamp unit, so they're very easy to remove. Again, anti-clockwise with a Phillips screwdriver. Let's just speed this footage up. So all four of these. Once those four are removed, the headlamp unit should just fall away. So just leave it on the floor and lift the fairing upwards and it should just remain where it is. And that is the headlamp unit that we're going to replace. And we are now exactly halfway through the job. And my second hand headlamp unit has arrived from a well known auction site. And I checked all the photos just to make sure that it was identical. But before we fit it, I'm just gonna compare it with the other one, just to double check. And that looks pretty identical to me. Just flip it over and it is identical. So what we're gonna do now is just swap the bulbs over. So I'm gonna take the old parking light bulb, which literally just pulls out and then just push that into the new unit. Then I'm gonna remove the headlight bulb. There's nothing wrong with this. So we can just put this in the new unit that I've got. Just turn that anti-clockwise about 10 or 15 degrees. That just locks it in. Then remove this bulb. Don't ever touch the glass on this bulb. This is a halogen bulb. If you touch the glass, it will get all oily and then it will blow. So don't touch the glass. Don't ever touch it. Never touch the glass. Make sure you line it up in exactly the same position. Put the locking nut in. Just turn it to lock it in. Fabulous, so both bulbs are now in the replacement headlamp unit. This one's got a slightly different rubber attachment on it. 
So I'm going to use the one that came with this. Just push it down till it fits all the way around. Now this is ready to go back into the headlamp fairing. Just lay it on the top there. And those four screws that we removed, we need to put those back in. Always do them with your hands first. These are plastic threads. You don't want to damage the thread. Make sure you get a good bite on it. Once you're happy that those are going in, then just use your Phillips screwdriver and tighten them all up. Do all four of these up very gently. Don't tighten just one up really tight and then do the others. So then it's all nice and uniform and parallel. And all those four screws are now nice and tight. And this is ready to go back on the Vespa and be bolted back on. I'm just going to rest it on the top of the horn fairing here and I'm going to plug the bulbs back in. I'm just going to plug the parking light in first. This can only go in one way. Just push it all the way in until that clip pops through. Then the main headlamp bulb. Again, this can only go in one way. Just push it on, push it all the way down till it's nice and firm. Fabulous. Oh, I put the screw for the headlamp fairing back in just so I wouldn't lose it. So I'm just going to quickly remove that. That goes in there. What we're doing here, as before, you're just lining it up and you're not being overly aggressive. You're just being nice and gentle. Now, this is pretty tricky for me because I'm trying to record it with one hand and actually fit it with the other hand. If you've got two hands free, it's actually a pretty simple job. It's just lots of wiggling, making sure the clips on the handlebars there at the top go in, nicely tucked under, and that the screws underneath line up. So it's just lots of wiggling about. Whatever you do, don't try and force it. Don't be aggressive. If it doesn't feel like it's going to fit, then take it off and then try it again. The bottom there is popped in. It looks like this side is nicely lined up. Great stuff. Let's just check the other side. Now this one hasn't actually clipped in properly, just needs a bit of persuasion. Just need to push it away and downwards. There we go. So all the seams and the joins should all line up, so it should be all nice and flush. And that's looking good. What I'm going to do now, before I tighten it all up and get all the bolts on, I'm just going to retest the bulbs. Now, I don't really need to do this because it's exactly the same bulbs. They're not fresh bulbs, but this is just for peace of mind before I put it all back together. And all looking great, no problems. Later on in the video, I'll just show you a quick 30 second clip of all the motorcycles that I've ever owned, if you're interested in that. And also let me know in the comments below what sort of motorbikes or scooters you've had in the past, or what you currently own. Let's put these screws back in, tighten those up with your Phillips screwdriver. The seam on both sides looking good. Great stuff.
And now the bit I'm dreading is the headlamp screw underneath. Now, as I mentioned earlier on in the video, this is a magnetic screw. So if you've got a really powerful magnetic screwdriver, use that. What I've got here is just a piece of tape and this is upside down. So the sticky side is up just in case I drop the screw. It should hopefully stick to that tape. Now, it's easier to get this in if the headlamp unit is turned to the side. Just gives you slightly better access. And the thinner the screwdriver the better because you will start rubbing off some of the paint underneath oh great stuff that one's in that's the trickiest one now we can put the wing mirrors back on now this shouldn't need adjusting because i haven't actually touched it it's just literally going back on where it came from but I will actually tighten the nut just so it locks in and I'll show you that shortly after it's nicely done up. I'm not going to slide that fairing bit down yet. Now the other side's exactly the same so I don't need to show you that. That ring mirror is now on. Now what I'm going to do is sit on the Vespa and make sure the mirrors are nice and tight and adjusted properly. Now you can actually hold the mirrors and adjust those slightly, but to lock them into a specific position, you just tighten the nuts up at the bottom of the wing mirror. Get it as good as you can so you've got a good view behind you. Then with one hand, tighten that nut clockwise and with the other hand, hold on to the wing mirror shaft. like this and then any minor adjustments can be done actually on the mirrors they do actually swivel on a joint I'm happy with those now we can just lock these fairing tops back into position again be gentle with the clips take your small allen key nut and your allen key and just tighten that up Again, you need to do the identical thing on the other side. I don't need to show you that one. Once that's nice and tight, just slide the rubber down the wing mirror shaft. And that small extra divot there just slides into there just to stop any water getting into your handlebars. Now we just need to put the horn cover fairing on. This is easier if your handlebars are turned completely to one side and as you fit it you might need to wiggle the handlebars over back to the other side just to give you a bit better access on either side so you're basically putting it in slightly higher than it needs to be and then pushing it inwards and then pulling it downwards so those four clips just clip over again this is much easier with two hands but i've managed to do it with one hand and then we've just got the screw in the middle here, which was the tamper proof bit screw to just tighten that up clockwise. And then we just need to put the badge on. So just slide it in on the left hand side into the groove and then just push it with your thumb. Fabulous. And I'll tell you what, I'm really happy with that job. And it's definitely time for another cup of tea. Definitely deserve a cup of tea after that job. I'm just going to test it again. Don't need to because we tested it earlier, but just for my peace of mind. Fabulous. And now let's just go for a short ride. This Vespa GTS 300 is a great ride. And there's lots of links in the description and the pinned comments where I've got lots of other videos about this Vespa GTS.
And as I mentioned earlier, I've just got a short video here of all the motorcycles that I've ever owned. Honda MT50, that was nice. GS125, lovely. AR125, two-stroke, lovely. KLR250, GPZ305, not so nice. KRS1, oh. VF750, oh, RD350, LC, CB450, nah. TZR250, oh yeah. CBR600, oh, what a beast. ET125 Vespa, and now my current ride. If you found that video useful, please subscribe by pressing this button down here so you don't miss more videos on how to save you time and money. There's also some other videos around the edges of the screen here. If any of those are useful to you, then you can select those now. Thank you for visiting my channel, everyone. I really, really appreciate it.